Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day three of UCAT Festival TV. I'm Colm Cronin, and today I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Melissa Jacoby. Melissa, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you very much. How are you? I'm not too shabby at all. I'm going to do a little bit of magic and move us into the UCAT Festival studio. Um, how have you been uh, enjoying the, the festival thus far? It's been fantastic. It's it, it, Obviously, it's a real shame we're not in Glasgow and uh, enjoying the Glasgow weather, but uh, I've got the Sheffield rain here keeping me company. And uh, there's been some really, really exciting um, sessions that I've attended over the last uh, over the last couple of days, and I'm really interested to see what, what happens in, in the remaining two. Yeah, it has been a great couple of days thus far, and I suppose we're here this morning because we're going to talk about what I described to you just beforehand as the <laughs> Marvel DC crossover uh, when when, um, when universes collide. So UCAT and Amashi coming together to um, organize a webinar this afternoon. Maybe you could tell me a little bit more. Yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I think this is this is um, certainly new to my knowledge in terms of uh, from a UCAP perspective um, and I think it, it's it's absolutely fundamental to, to the, the whole student experience and ensure, ensuring that uh, the institutions work in a joined up way and are able to really support students in a, in a holistic manner. It's, uh, it's all very well having fantastic personal tutoring and, uh, and academic advising but there's significantly more work that goes into supporting students get through, uh, get through their courses um, in a successful way and, and it's it's where that where the Amoshi sort of side of things draws on all that fantastic expertise in the pastoral care and the mental health support and all the all the wider um ranging additional areas that that really do help add add value to that and, and crucially support students in, in in their times of need so it'll be really interesting to, to discuss how different institutions are managing um the development of their, their working practices between the academic and professional services side yeah, I, I'm delighted to see this happening. I think the fact that these kind of large um, national organizations who have such expertise in different areas coming together for the betterment of, of students and the betterment of um, those working in universities is really fantastic. So kudos to both UCAT and to Amashi on putting this together. What time is this uh, taking place, Melissa? Two o'clock. Two o'clock yeah. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, it, it, it will be really interesting. There's a fantastic set of um, of panelists that, that I understand with Emily McIntosh sharing. So uh, it should be a really interesting discussion, and uh, hopefully there'll be some lively questions at the end that will really uh, really test us in terms of uh, yeah, ex explaining how things work in our own institutions. Well, if my experience of a Moshi and UCAT conferences is anything to go by, I'm sure there will undoubtedly be some really interesting questions. Um, if people are looking for more information, you can get it on the UCAT website. And if you check out the various UCAT social media channels, you can see them there. Melissa, I want to say thanks to you for taking the time to chat to me today. I hope you enjoy the next couple of days of the festival and hopefully I look forward to um, seeing you in Swansea next year. Absolutely, I'll be there. Thank you so much, Cole. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.